really sorry for the noise. So we have this beauty here. So far I only done this, uh, that right side of the trunk. And I have done the hood here. I forgot how big of a hood it has. Um, so I'm still, I'm still, you know, practicing polishing in general. Uh, I'm, I'm in, uh, want to master one step and then slowly and, or kind of jump the ship into the two step process. I haven't dealt with a, a good candidate of a car yet. Uh, to accomplish that, and of course, some of my relatives that, that might have a car that really needs needs their uh, paint fixed for paint correction. But for now, nowadays, uh, doing strictly just one step, and it surprisingly it does a lot of wonders for almost any car that has not ever had a polish that's that's a few years old and so on. You know, that uh, gets to run through dry through car, car washes and all that stuff, you know, the gas stations and the self-serve. Um, horrible for your paint. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's a beauty. Formula red color. And so I'm gonna give updates. Uh, I mean, I give the update when the editing jumps into more so in the, uh, the finished st st uh, stage. <clears throat> I haven't had breakfast. I just woke up like 20 minutes ago. So, um, I'm a little congested in the brain still. Um, all right, let's get to work. So just for kicks, I found something interesting. So this is a completely untreated, unpolished side. Um, and then I experimented polishing by hand and not the machine. Look what it did just by hand huge difference and of course the faster process the more <clears throat> you know more cutting to the clear coat it happens with when you use a machine such as here this guy has a few looks like almost almost looks like like cat claw marks right here it has a few random spots where it has deep cuts but just to demonstrate what a simple hand polish can do if you don't have a machine and actually, it doesn't take that much work. Probably like 90 seconds. And look how much of a difference a hand polish can do. And here's the final result. This was a strictly a one-step correction. I don't have the enough guts or experience for a two-step, respectively. But we removed a lot of defects. Surprisingly, it was just a one-step I used the 3D one and I topped it off with a temporary shine booster spray with the Car Pros X2O. And I got into detailing, I fell in love with this after visiting a detail garage location and I took their free polishing course. I bought a polisher that same day and I can't wait for future projects to come.